So, I got my uh, working contract verified by Polo. Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel and to this year's first Q&A. Yeah, first Q&A in 2021. Sorry, it's 2022! Oh my gosh. So, this vlog is dedicated to my fellow Filipinos. So, Magtatagalog tayo sa vlog na to. Ito ang pinaka, pinaka ask, pinaka ask, pinaka ask na question sa vlog ko recently about Polo, about OWA, about OEC, and about student visa to working visa in Japan. So, a short background about me. I was an English teacher in Japan for over three years and I entered Japan in a student visa for a year and a half and then within that time frame right after my graduation I converted to working visa as an English teacher in Japan so so I got my uh, working contract verified by Polo so the process was I had for first time for first time employers who are hiring Filipinos they need a personal appearance to Polo Tokyo Japan together with the employee second requirement is to have the company profile which is I'll put here the Japanese word Kimbo Tuhon yes it's company profile translated in English so, kailangan yung ipatranslate yun. Marami kayong mahanapan sa Facebook or may kakilala kayo na mag-translate. Ipatranslate niyo yung company profile into English. And then, my employees, uh, uh, my employer's information, IDs, and my resume. And, yeah, the most important part that they asked of me was my letter of explanation how I found my job in Japan I made a novel there so yeah so after getting that I went to Polo Tokyo after confirming an email schedule so for my fellow Filipinos itawag nyo or i-confirm nyo yung schedule sa Polo pumunta kami ng Polo Tokyo office in Lupongi Malapit lang siya sa Philippine Embassy. So, pumunta kami ng boss ko at ako. Naghintay doon. So, sinabit ko yung documents ko. And then, chinek nila. Tapos, kami na yung sumunod sa... Ay, mga ilang oras din eh, nagsunod ka. There was a misunderstanding kasi with the schedule. And the email. So, usually, dapat mag-interview sa inyo yung Secretary of Polo yung mismong director ng no, um, office kaso busy siya and at that time there was there was a big issue about uh, student visa to working visa um, hmm, yun so interview ako ng under secretary or assistant secretary ng office kung ano yung requirements ko tapos yung boss ko in interview din in interview din yung boss ko uh, why did you hire her and then um, so yun why did you hire her basically yun lang yung na, na, ma maalala ko so challenge din ako nung assistant secretary o translate mo sa kanya sabihin, sabihin mo sa Japanese sabi niya ayun so at that time there was a hot issue between student visa entering Filipinos entering Japan eh, uh, Filipinos entering Japan student visa and then quickly converting to working visa so they were screening that out and lucky me I got through so after namin may interview ng boss ko uh, naghintay pa kami ng time tapos i-pending yung documents after nung after namin ng, in, after ng interview 
for verification or for pending for approval. So, pinigay ko lahat ng documents and sabi nila, isi-send back nila sa akin kung okay or hindi. So, after nun, interview, sa tabi nung within, inside the office din ng Polo Tokyo, andun din ang OWA, OWA representative, OWA staff representative. And doon na rin ako nag-register for OWA. So, your uh, registration is valid for 2 years. So, lahat kayo, please, mag-member kayo sa OWA. The benefits are nice. Maganda yung benefits nila. Super helpful siya, lalo na sa pandemic na, na ito. Or, yeah, it's maganda siya. So, mag-member kayo doon sa OWA mismo. And after, right after, nyo doon sa Polo to. Okay. So, after, weeks after that, weeks after that, nakareceive ako ng uh, nakareceive na ako ng mail na approve na yung contract ko. So, yung na-verify na uh, contract, working contract mo from Polo Tokyo, Japan, is yun yung dadalhin mo sa Pilipinas pag uwi mo. And, hindi lang yun ha. Pag, nag, pag uwi kayo, pupunta kayo sa website ng uh, POEA, mag-schedule kayo kung kailan kayo uwi. Lagay niyo yung time and uh, time and date na pupunta kayo sa office. Kasi hindi sila tumatanggap noon ng uh, walk-in. Yes. So, daladala mo yung daladala mo yung working contract mo, tapos yung residence card. Ang muntikan ko nang hindi ma-verify nung umuwi ako sa Pilipinas is yung um, the salary salary slip. My salary slip was in Japanese. Naka-Japanese siya. Nagkalit yung staff. Man, paano ko maintindihan to? Kung nga naman naka ni Hongo. Yun, muntikan na. Sabi ko, ma'am, ibabalik ko pa ba sa Japan? Yan. So, yun. After ko, uh, after ko ma-verify yun, after ko ma-verify, after ko ma-submit yun, binigyan nila ako ng code para sa OEC, na-verify ng contact ko. So, after mo makuha yung code or yung uh, from the registration mo sa POEA, makakaprint ka na doon ng overseas employment contract. Yung overseas employment contract na yun, yun yung gagamitin mo at i-represent mo sa immigration sa Pilipinas pag babalik ka sa Japan. And, don't forget na yung overseas employment contract mo din is your key for uh, travel tax refund. Around 500 pesos or 1,000 yun. Sayang yun yun. Yan. So, that was my experience. What were the challenges? The challenge was bringing my boss and convincing my boss to come with me to Polo, Tokyo, Japan. It was uh, difficult for her. She's her, yeah, senior senior citizen uh, at that time. And we went to the office. And the question, uh, there was also miscommunication with Polo that time. And the instruction for employment uh, contract was not clear. Napaka big kasi. And it, uh, it depends case by case. So, for me as an English teacher, and iba din kasi for kaigo, iba for care workers, iba rin siya for engineer, iba iba. So, yon. Anyways, I got my OEC and nakabalik ako ng Japan. And Make sure your documents, all Japanese documents, are translated in English. Bring all. Employment contract, payment slip, residence card. Uh, yun. Very important yung may pension kayo. Hahanapin din yun sa so, yun. yun yung struggle for employment contract verification sa Polo Tokyo, Japan. That was in 2019. So, in this year, there are different procedures, I think, because of the pandemic. So, yun. Advice ko lang sa mga kapwa kong 
Filipinos na nag na nag naka student visa pa at talak mag convert and make sure na either registered yung company mo as nag or nakakapag hire na ng Filipino yung employer mo second is um, second is as much as possible finish your student visa and then third tip is uh, schedule Make sure, make sure your do your search and double check. Tawagan yun si Polo, Polo Tokyo. Kung di nyo siya matawagan, make sure to email them and do, clarify your email. Kasi sa email nayan documented yung conversation. Do may juma bagal at least documented. Yeah. So that was my Polo contract verification and. I will answer uh, I will answer questions which were in my previous vlog for Q&A and see you on a part 2 for this one. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the Q&A and continuation of our Polo OWA and student visa in Japan. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.